I am still out night hiking. I uh, stopped on Friday night after putting in about 21 or 22 miles. And I didn't really have a good place to set up camp. So I was just trying to cowboy camp on the ground. And while I was laying there, I could hear mice trying to eat into my Cuban fiber backpack on more than one occasion. So after being there for about two hours, I was like, you know, it's a full moon. You haven't done extensive night hiking, like hours and hours and hours of night hiking. And you have this 13 mile roadwalk coming up that you despise. Why don't you go ahead and work on getting some of those miles out? So that's kind of what I've been doing. Not really in a hurry. The path has been, the, the trail's been pretty easy to follow so far. Between the GPS and my eyes and tracking experience. Now I don't know that everybody can get out here and follow this trail. <laughs> But uh, I'm not really having any issues. Um, not really anything else going on. So the new plan is either get all of the road miles or a big chunk of them out before daybreak. And then that's also where my resupply is too. Right after that road walk. So I'll pick up my resupply, and then there's a camp that's supposed to be like a mile or two down from where my resupply's at. And uh, after hiking all night, I will probably just set my tent uh, Hexamid Solo Plus up there and uh, sleep the rest of the day off. Um, I was supposed to pick up my resupply on Saturday anyways, so this will work out pretty good. Um, I actually stopped last night, Friday night, farther ahead than what I planned to be at Friday night, and that was before taking the zero day, so I really hauled ass yesterday. The other thing I noticed when I was taking my break though where the mice were eating into the backpack was my leg was having that like if you stop moving me I'm gonna lock up so that's kind of another reason why I started to uh, want to get back out and keep on hiking because I don't mind if it locks up after we get the resupply but I gotta get the resupply uh, it's been worrying me all week for some reason I'm pretty tired I'd really rather be asleep, but uh, I still ain't found any place really flat enough to put a tent up, so something to keep in mind when you hike this area, there's not a lot of campsites that I have seen. And I'm just taking it slow because my legs are sore, my knees are in braces. I'm night hiking, which is dangerous by itself. Um, I haven't fallen or anything. I almost fell once. Let me go ahead and shut this off because it's getting a little, little bit tricky up here. This is uh, basically a continuation of the last video. I uh, continued to night hike. I'm rolling into Heidelberg now. I think that's how it's pronounced. If not, someone can correct me. 
pretty tired. I've actually been up for uh, about 25 hours straight now. So uh, I don't know how many miles I've hiked in 25 hours. Friggin' lot. But uh, I was not looking forward to this road walk. And I just decided to get the damn thing out of the way. Um, also, it didn't help that I had mice trying to eat it in my backpack at the camp I chose last night. So, after I was there for like an hour or so listening to that, I was just like, I'll just get up and knock out this road walk. And, uh, well, I just, uh, my feet are not made for walking on asphalt. You can give me dirt, sand, rock. I know I hiked 35 miles yesterday. You put me on asphalt and after about three miles, it's like someone loaded my back with sand or concrete, something to that effect. Be right back. I am literally done with road walks. Not really. But I'm to the point I would hitchhike if only a fucking car would drive by. I mean, in four hours, I have not seen a single car. It's 8 a.m. Pretty much all I've been seeing, going uphill. I'll get back with you later. Hopefully my feet don't fall off before then. I uh, finally made it through my long road walk today. I am on New Virginia Ridge Road. I just picked up my resupply, which was a uh, five gallon bucket full of food and a isobutane canister and some potential med medical supplies that I actually didn't need. It was for blister care. I haven't had a single blister on this trip, knock on wood. Um, biodegradable toilet paper and some wet wipes uh, now that my pack is full with six days of food again wow huge difference between a no food day pack and six day pack especially with my knees <laughs> being as sore as they are but uh there's supposed to be a camp down here right on a river or stream or creek with a fire ring and even though it's only 3 p.m. I've uh, been awake since yesterday at 7 a.m. so as soon as I get there I'm setting up camp I'm going to eat like you would not believe and then I'm going to sleep hopefully until morning so I'll update you when I get to camp if not something important before then I made it to the camp, the large camp with the fire pit. There's water, about a five minute walk farther down the trail. Um, I didn't really feel like doing a proper bear bag hang. So I basically just hung my whole entire backpack in the tree. And I know it's not four foot away from the main trunk, but it's a pretty small, tree it is four foot from the 
limb, six foot from the limb and about ten feet from the ground. My Z Packs Hexamid So Plus, my socks drying, and my gaiters. I got my water and water filter sitting over there. Probably should have done something else different with those, but I'm just beat. I've literally been up for about uh, um, let's see, 7 a.m. would be 24 hours, and 7 p.m. would be uh, 12 more, 36. Yeah, so I've been up for like 36 hours, hiking non-stop. I've already had dinner. My trash and my cook pot is in the backpack. I'm going to bed. I don't remember where I'm supposed to get to tomorrow because also my agenda is in the backpack. So I'll just follow up in the morning. Night. Another use for the Leatherman Style CS. Earlier today, I cut my fingernails. And they don't look too bad if it'll go in focus. Of course they're not. And I'm going to try to do my toenail one-handed while I hold the camera. To show you that this works really well. They're pretty nasty too. My feet have been wet for like four days now. See that? Hardly no effort whatsoever. So, another use for the uh, Leatherman style CS. Again, if they would include a toothpick with that, that would be the greatest hiking tool ever.